Hi guys, Oz Toxin here. Just doing a quick uh, playthrough for you, just for a uh, some healing. Um, as you said, not a fully geared druid, but just trying to show you some basic rotation of whenever you're doing it. Now, I've actually found a great glyph that you know most of you guys may not know about. Um, or if you do know, it's great because it's one of the best ones out there. But if you look at your glyphs in here, you've got one that's called that one there. Okay, ever read through it all? It's caused by a wild mushroom, instead of swift men, lasts as long as the wild mushroom is active. Additionally, increases the healing done by a swift men. One of the best lifts if you're going to be doing any sort of healing, especially in uh, PvP, PvE, anything out there. So basically, what you're doing is, okay, so yourself, you've got wild mushroom. Now, as it by itself, when it pops up, nothing really too exciting about it. But then you start doing a cast, and starts gathering these. Healing effect increased by 57. Now this is every time it ticks. So no matter what, if it's overhealing, it's giving it no... Just imagine you start an arena and you're basically, you know, before the attack starts, chuck one of these downs on one of your, on your uh, you know, group there. So if it's 2v2, 2v3, uh, sorry, 3v3. Um, and then cast your rejuvenation onto everyone in the party. Now every time it's overhealing, it's stacking up, increasing the amount it's going to do. So, effects finished, we cast it again. It's going to keep on ticking up every all the time. Now, what this allows you to do is it's a quick heal. Now, in an arena, it won't disappear, but if you do fly out of range to battleground, it will reset. The other good thing is um, once you get to your limit, which I believe is over a million, um, it will, you know, also you get the chance to crit, which allows you to crit even higher again. Now, you don't need to do that, but you think about it, if you're an AOE, if you have a million, it'll be just split amongst however many people are in there. So if you're getting CC'd or you're getting something like that, you can quite simply just cast this and it will give the heals equally amongst everybody. You've got a million split amongst three of you. You know, you're looking at, let's say, 350, 300, whatever it may be per person. Um, but what I'm just trying to show is here, when you keep on casting the ability, and you also, you've got the actual AOE heals as well. Swiftman's also increases, so you Swiftman's getting up there. I'm just trying to show you the extent of it. It does take a little bit of time, but you imagine if you had three people going around, you can cast it on everyone around here. It's all going to keep adding up quickly on there. Okay, now it's procced. See, the little procs come up. So what we can do now is everyone inside the circle, we get this. Now, if we pop all our little trinkets and cooldowns, so I've got one in here that increases the agility and everything now. So we just got to get our circle. Um... Once we cast the proc on this, it'll increase the amount of heal on it. So we can go proc, detonate, and ready, boom. 1.8 million heals off that. One of the greatest heals you can get in the game. Now, if you imagine if you've managed to get that up over the whole entire session, your mana's running low, the cost of it is nothing. It's an instant cast. It costs mat 6,000 mana to detonate it. But you're talking about returning somebody who might have 20,000 health left back to full. So it's quite literally, if they're in a distance, you could drop it from a distance, wherever it may be, so, and you can just drop, and then three seconds later, full detonation, boom. So still 114,000 crit out of that. Alright, well that, that's just it for today, I just want to show you, sort of show you how to just start off with your heals, it's a great glyph to use, um, not many people sort of know how it works and how to build it up, but uh, yeah, as always, I'm Ostoxin, and I'll catch you next video. Peace.